What's happening, Nick Martinez, the Keto Dad here, and tonight we made Italian stuffed chicken with spinach in the Ninja. Tons of fun, delicious, and pretty easy to do. Check it out. First thing that we're gonna do is just go ahead and make our like stuffing for the chicken, the inside of the chicken. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of mayonnaise. Sorry, that was a little loud. Ah! And we're gonna add in a little Parmesan cheese. I've got some cream cheese that I've softened already, so it mix in real nice. And I'm gonna take a little bit of minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you have it, but we've got this massive thing of garlic we need to use, so we're gonna use that. And before I add in the spinach, I'm just gonna get all of this kind of mixed together as our wet ingredients. Oh, it smells good with that garlic. All right, lastly, we're just gonna add in our spinach. And this is gonna stir in here real nice. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. I cannot wait. All right, so my stuffing is all ready to go. Looks delicious. Now beforehand, what I did with these chicken breasts is I cut them in half and then I pressed them down so they're nice and thin. So, <laughs> so sometimes it's easy to put them in between two pieces of parchment paper. You can take like a rolling pin and roll them. Or you can, if you have like a meat mallet, you can mallet the heck out of them. You just want them nice and thin so they're easy to roll. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and put a dollop of this on each, and then we're gonna spread it nice and thin on all four of them. So I'm just gonna go, kind of get started so that they each get kind of their fair share, and then we'll spread it out. Okay, now for the fun part, we get to roll them. And in doing so, what we wanna do is kinda of start with the thinner end, and you roll to the thick end. That way the thick end of the chicken is outside and it has the best opportunity to cook. And then once you get it all rolled up, you are just going to stick a toothpick in it, and boom, I love it. All right, let's do this one. These are gonna be amazing. Okay, all of my chicken is ready to go. It looks amazing. But before I season it, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and preheat the air fryer here. I've got uh, the power on, we're gonna do air crisp, we're gonna do 375, and we're just gonna click start. And this is just gonna get it going so that it's nice and hot when we're ready to put these in. So while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and make our kind of our seasoning for the outside of the chicken. To create the seasoning, we're just gonna take a little bit of each of these, kind of equal parts. We've got salt, we've got onion powder. Sorry, it's a little noisy while this air fryer is heating up here. All right, onion powder, what is this, garlic powder. Oh yeah. And a little bit of paprika, paprika, there you go. Whew. I'm not gonna put quite as much of the paprika is in as everything else, because I don't want it to too much overpower. Now we're just gonna stir it a little bit together. And this is just like my seasoning for the chicken, just for the outside of the chicken. You could do this beforehand if you wanted to season both sides and really rub it in there. But I figured it'd be easier just to have them done and then to come here and basically just rub it or sprinkle it on and I'll flip them all and get it equal on all sides. All right, it's been preheating for a few minutes here, so we'll go ahead and turn that off. Whew, that's nice. And we're gonna load up our basket. We've just sprayed this just to keep it from sticking. And I'm gonna take my individual chicken here <clears throat> and layer them into the basket. Oh, these are gonna be good. Yeah, they all fit really well there. All right, now, oh yeah, we've got some heat going. Put them in, and now we're gonna continue at that temperature. So we're gonna do air crisp, we're gonna do 375, start, and we're gonna drop the time down to about 10 minutes. Can't wait to see how these turn out, woohoo! 
Okay, so we've been cooking these for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and they look awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and just flip these over. Some of the stuffing's falling out, um, but uh, still looks delicious. And I'm gonna take a minute just to rotate each of these, just so we can get the bottom half cooked. You can see the, the fan is actually still sitting in the air fryer. This one does automatically shut off when you open it, which is kind of nice, because the fan's going. But I'll flip each of these, and then I'm gonna put them back on for about, let's start with five minutes, and then we'll see if we need uh, the full 10 minutes. Okay, we ended up after 10 minutes checking it and we gave it another seven. So it was about 17 minutes. It just depends on uh, like how thick your chicken is, that kind of thing. This is maybe just a tad bit overcooked. But in order to eat this kind of as our meal, what I've got here is a little bit of riced cauliflower. I cooked it with some Italian seasoning so that it's just has a really nice flavor to it. That's gonna be my bed for what I take out of the Instant Pot here, and look at this, like, oh, it looks delicious. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add a little bit of like marinara sauce. Now you can load it up with as much as you want. This is just Rayo's, um, our favorite pasta sauce. A spoon might be a little bit better, but let's take it over here and let's see how it tastes. All right, before I eat it, let's go ahead and cut into it and just see what it looks like, because I kind of want to see the pinwheel. Did it actually get rolled? Did it actually get cooked? Oh yeah, look at that. Woo, that looks amazing. Okay, the moment of truth, how does it taste? Mmm. That's simple, it's tasty. It was fun and a great way to use the, uh, the Ninja. If you don't have one of these, no problem, you can bake it. You just stick it in the oven instead of sticking it in here and it will still work. This is a nice way of crisping up the outside and it was really fun to use. So I'm excited to do more recipes with this. With that, remember, keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it keto. Have an awesome day.